Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a super quick video. Um, I have, you might have seen me post between either my personal page or my fitness page in the last couple of days, sort of been in like a mental slump. And uh, so I wanted to share a little bit of my struggle because um, I felt like I was hit by some kind of mental ninja. I didn't even know it happened until last night. And I was kind of realizing why, well here, let me back up. So you, you probably know, I just finished 22 hardcore, 22 minute hardcore, had pretty good results. Um, then had my photo shoot on Saturday. And then, so Monday was like my day off. <clears throat> and then, um, so Tuesday I was gonna start round two, which I did yesterday, I started round two. And um, I realized, I got to take a look at my pictures, and this is nothing on the photographer, this was my own preparation, lack of preparation, I don't know. But I, I felt like my fitness photos weren't as great as I was hoping they were going to be, and mostly that was my physique. Um, you know, my, my nutrition was pretty good the last eight weeks, but I certainly know that it could have been better. So when I saw the pictures, I saw the results of all the treat meals. And uh, of course, you know, Gary thought they looked great, and uh, and he's probably right. I was also, I'll be honest, I was looking at it through a period brain. It's time of the month. Sorry guys if that's TMI, but I know you women out there know what I'm talking about. And if any of you guys watching are married, you know, still probably know what I'm talking about. So that puts an extra layer of criticism over your perspective. So um, I probably shouldn't have looked at my pictures until sometime later this week. But anyway, so it kind of, I think it bummed me out. And I, I guess I didn't realize it. Like you probably saw on Monday night, I said, I'm going to have my graduation meal, which was going to be pizza. And I picked a pretty conservative treat meal, you know, thin crust, grilled chicken, veggies, balsamic, that kind of stuff. But then <laughs> that mental ninja hit, or, uh, you know, Fat Tenya hit. Uh, hi, Minnie. I'm sorry, I don't know who you are, but hi. Um, and I ate, we got a, each got a medium pizza, and usually it's like, okay, well, you know, I'll eat some of it, and then either save the rest for later, or lunch the next day, or Gary will finish it off. I ate the, I ate the whole damn pizza, all by myself, that night. A whole medium pizza. Now, I mean, I'm not surprised that I could do it because I know I can. I am an eater. I'm a foodie. I love it. So I'm not surprised that I could do it, but I just plowed like fat Tanya took over and I plowed through that pizza. And uh, I'll be honest, I didn't really regret it. You know, and like later that night, I was just like, oh my God, I'm so full and didn't sleep well. And then the next morning I felt even worse and I uh, was bloated and, and then just it kept downward spiraling like Tuesday. I kept snacking, I got home, I kept snacking, and I was, you know, just eating. I mean, I I guess I was eating healthy stuff, but I kept eating. It, there was no portion control. There was no self-control. And then um, I realized, and I was talking, when kind of talking it out loud with Gary, I realized, you know, I think it was the photo shoot. My, I had a great experience, but after looking at those fitness photos, like the pictures of Gary and I, those came out great. I'm super happy with those. But my physique, I just, I let myself get so wrapped up in it and just, it bummed me out and I didn't know it. And it just, so I have spent today, you know, listening to motivational videos to get me kind of hyped back up and listening to health and fitness podcasts to really start kind of getting my mind back into the mindset of focusing on my health and fitness and not just the way I look. Um, you know, I stepped on the scale this morning to see how much damage I did and I gained six pounds in, I don't know, last few days, maybe week tops. I mean, that's, that's crazy. And you know, I can't even say, well, I was on my period, so I'm bloated or what? Nope. That was all overeating. So here's my game plan. Today's only day two of round two of 22 minute hardcore. So I've got my energized going, my pre-workout. I'm going to go and hit this motherfucker. And I apologize if the swearing throws you off, but that's just how I roll. I'm going to go hit this shit up. And I've done pretty well on my nutrition today. I, I will admit I had cake and ice cream in the advisory party this morning, but I planned for it. And I kept the rest of my day under control. I keep looking at that way because that's my... I don't know if you can see that. That is my um, meal planning board. So... 
I've done pretty well. I'm, I need to get back into this. I'm reading my books on nutrition. I'm listening to my, like I am submersing myself in all of the right things that I need to get my brain back on track and get this mental ninja out. <laughs> so I wanted to share that with you because I have a feeling that some of you might be able to relate to that, like I dove off the cliff experience and uh, I just want you to know that like, you know, yes, I'm a health and fitness coach, but I'm also human and this shit happens to me too. So I'm gonna go get my workout in. If this is a struggle you can relate to, you know, let's connect because we can keep each other supported and accountable. You know, I love to help people, but sometimes I have to like check myself and be like, okay, where's your head at, Tanya? Get yourself back in the game. So that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go get my boot camp on. It's only 22 minutes. I know that I will feel better after a really good workout and a really good sweat. So I hope that the my struggle can also help encourage you. Don't give up. I'm not giving up. I need to keep going and so do you. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a great evening and hopefully go get your workout in. Bye.